Hi everyone, this is Ingrid from Old Town Charm and today I will be making another hot process soap and this is a two-tone and it's with sage and eucalyptus. So it's been a while um, that I don't do a video. Normally I'm pretty busy doing some soaps for a farmer's market that I go on Sundays and I just received horrible bad news that they're going to be shutting it down and I'm pretty sad not because I'm not going to be able to sell my soaps there I do have another market that I go to on Saturdays and I sell online but also because there's other vendors that work there pretty much like 50 vendors and I feel so sad that they're shutting them down um, and reasons are like, you know, people being jealous that the market is booming during COVID and during the pandemic. And it's, it's a way for people that have lost their online business or their brick and mortar to do some extra money. I've met fabulous people that make, um, food that sells vegetables and do awesome handmade products. And it's sad to say that they're no longer going to have a place to sell their stuff. So I'm pretty kind of bummed out. And because of that, I'm doing this um, sage and eucalyptus. It relaxes me a lot. I love the aroma of the combination of these two. And it inspired me to do this so because I am, to be honest, I'm really a little bit um sad. Um, it's been a hard year for a lot of people. And to have someone, you know, rule out a place that has great regulation, it's outdoor, it was safe for people to go and buy their stuff. Even in the pandemic, they were, you know, following the rules, wearing their mask. Um, it's sad to say that because other people were not permitted to have an event outdoors, they have to shut down now everybody around there that have uh, an outdoor kind of vending area. Even though, as again, as I mentioned, people respected their spaces. Um, you know, people were masked. They, we all had our, you know, hand sanitizers on our table and our signs that only two people at a tent. But it's sad that you know just one person can spoil it for a lot more and not think about you know if this is the only income they get or if this is the only way they can make any type of money. But yeah, um, sorry to start a video in a sad note. I hope that, you know, things get better for everybody out there. Um, I feel like there is a progress going on and we are able to go back to normal. I'm pretty sure that it's going to happen very soon. But for now, I pray for all those families and friends that I met there. And I hope they get to um, open very soon, maybe in another market or, or, or maybe people will consider and reconsider and let us have the market back on on Sundays. On a happier note, I've noticed that meeting these people in farmer's market or other events, I am very impressed how um, a lot of people unfortunately were let go from their jobs and instead of, you know, thinking, oh, what am I going to do next? What's going to happen? I'm, I'm pretty much inspired by so many of you guys that have taken this fear and this time to create fabulous things and, and make a business out of it. I've been doing soaps and candles since 2019 and something similar happened to me. Of course, I started doing soaps for my family 
I wanted to learn how to do something that it's beneficial for them. But in the meantime, while I was learning this, something happened to us. Um, my husband lost his job because of some medical condition he couldn't see from his eyes. And, you know, we're still working on that still. Um, but we we lost one income. And I right away said, well, now that I know how to make soaps and candles, why did not sell them? And it became a business. And it's been successful. I mean, I'm, I'm of course, I'm no royalty soap or I'm not... Um, uh, other soaperies out there, but it has helped us a lot. And um, now I feel like this is more of a business, even though it's still my passion. Um, but yeah, I feel like I'm so inspired by other people's stories out there that have lost their jobs and have gone through a tough times during COVID and this pandemic. And um, the silver lining and the happy ending of all of this is that they probably lost their job, but it was the opportunity for them to finally know that they could do their own business, that they can actually do something on their own, and it probably even be better. Um, I, I heard a story about one lady that she um, lost her job, and she was a single mommy, and um, she took her stimulus money plus a loan from her neighbor. She started an online business, um, and now she's making like. 10,000 10, or more a month when she was getting paid like 12 or $13 an hour. It's just so inspiring to me and um, it makes me happy. And this is why I want to support people out there that, you know, farmers market and vendors, uh, small businesses. Even if I uh, go to an event, I always shop from these vendors because it's they're living, you know, it's what they're doing now, especially during this time that we don't have enough jobs out there to work for. So I'm, I'm really excited to see these people. They motivate me every day. They inspire me. And I want to tell you guys out there, if you know of your local, local um, farmer's market or an event, go to them, buy from them. Um, I think that you're doing a great a thing for doing that. I mean, you're you're helping a family member, you're helping a friend out there and um, just motiv- motivating them to keep on going. Um, I'm motivated. I'm motivated because I love the comments that you guys leave me and that you want to know more about how process. So this is why I do YouTube videos. Um, I love selling my soap and hearing a customer saying, oh my God, it left my skin so smooth and I love the smell. So it motivates me more to do more soaps. Um, and plus, you know, it has helped us. It has helped us with our health bills and with our insurance. Um, so I just think that um, this has been a, a positive thing for a lot of people. Um, they've conquered their fear and, you know, now they're opening businesses and doing their own small business. And I encourage you, if you have a passion of something and you think you have an idea, I know it's scary, but try it. Try it. You never know. It might come true and you might have a business coming out of it. So I always tell people, just try it. You never know. And we can only learn from our mistakes. We can only learn from us. If we never try it, it's worse. Um, But yeah, I think the the positive of all this that's going on, even though I'm pretty bummed out of the market this Sunday, I'm really happy that there's other markets out there that I can go and support and buy my local fruits and vegetables or my handcrafted um, things from other crafters and artisan out there. And I encourage you all to go ahead and, and, you know, go out there and support these small businesses. I know I'm rambling a lot, but here is my soap. I love it. It's so beautiful. I love this green calming color with the white. I did add some biodegradable sparkles from Mad Micas on the top, but this smells so good. The sage and the eucalyptus definitely is calming me down. Um, The aroma of the soap is just perfect, perfect timing. So yeah, um, I, I love how these soaps came out. They're very pretty, nice and solid soap. Um, So yeah, I'm going to let you see the cutting and the final results. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Again, go out there and support your local business, your small business around your area. 
support those, support those crafters. Um, and I wish you all the best too. I hope everybody that's watching is doing great. It's staying safe. And I will see you next time on the next video. Thank you again and bye-bye now.